Being a pilot takes years of practice, a lot of training, a lot of patience, and they might know a lot more about what's going on in the plane than you can even imagine. There are many different places in the world that you can't fly over, and it's not uncommon to come across a few UFOs. From safety hazards that they're not telling you about, to strange things that they might store under your feet, here are things that pilots don't want you to know. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. Number 16. Your pilot could be asleep. If you had to fly a plane for 16 hours with no break, you'd probably want to take a nap too. Could you even imagine being at work that long? You'd either pass out or go insane. Luckily, there's a co-pilot in order to take charge when the other one needs a power nap. It's always better to have two pilots on duty, and it's not worth the risk of having one pilot controlling the plane to snooze out uncontrollably. A majority of that time, though, they're not asleep on the job and they're paying close attention to what they're doing. That doesn't mean that they aren't tired, for sure. Number 15. Landing ain't easy. But it's really not all that easy. Again, a smooth landing can take years of practice. A novice pilot would need at least 20 hours of flying a plane before getting the chance to land one. You better believe it's a nerve-wracking experience for everyone. The longer the runway, the better, and pilots prefer flying into some cities because of this. In one case, a passenger was asked to land a plane after the pilot fell ill and managed to do so at the Humberside Airport. He was able to do this with very precise instructions that came from the radio. So be grateful next time your pilot gives you a smooth landing and you might make out alive. Number 14. Pilot and Flight Attendant Relationships now this is certainly against the airline policies, but many anonymous posts about relationships between pilots and flight attendants have emerged in recent years. It seems rather convenient since the pilots and the flight attendants are always going to the same place and are often placed in the same hotel provided by the airline company. Many might be married, but all those long nights on the flights can sure get lonely. Number 13. Lightning Strikes the Plane A giant piece of metal flying through the sky at a high altitude makes it a prime target to get hit by some electricity every now and then. It might be a little bit unsettling, but it's not uncommon for planes to get hit by lightning while in flight. You would imagine that this might cause a plane to come humbling down to the ground, but that's not always the case. Airplanes are built to withstand storms and keep flying despite Mother Nature trying to bring us down. If you're flying and you notice a bright flash and some thunder, it's very possible that the plane got hit by lightning. But don't worry, the pilot isn't tripping about it and neither should you. Number 12. Airplane Mode when the person who's controlling the massive flying object that you're sitting in tells you to do something, you should probably do it. This especially goes for airplane mode, and it turns out that by not switching your phone to this setting, it can be quite distracting for the pilot. There's another reason why you might want to put away your electronics though. When you're on a long flight to wherever you're going, you might feel the need to get some extra work done. But it's probably best that you keep your tablets and laptops stored safely away. The reason we have to store laptops or tablets in the overhead compartments is because they can easily turn into projectiles if you hit turbulence. You certainly do not want to get hit in the head with an electronic device. Number 11. Little Holes in the Windows The next time you get a window seat while hopping on a plane to your next vacay destination, you might notice those little holes on the outside parts of the window plane. Have you ever got a window seat while hopping onto the next plane to your next vacay destination and you notice those little holes on the outside part of the plane window? You might think to yourself, hey, did someone shoot the window with a BB gun or something? What is the deal? The truth is though, airplanes are designed like that. There's a ton of difference in pressure between the outside of the plane and the inside of the plane. Even though it's just a tiny little hole, it allows for a great reduction of pressure from the exterior part in order to balance out things a little bit. Otherwise, your outside window might crack open without it. Number 10. Unalive Passengers? The plane you might be getting on next could have an unlively bunch in the cargo section right below your feet. If you see a white box being unloaded into a plane at the airport, chances are it's carrying human remains. This makes it much easier when the United States has to drag out passengers involuntarily. Seriously though, on average, pilots admit to transport at least 8 of these boxes each year. Number 9. Foo Fighters Despite sharing their name with a popular band, Foo Fighters was a coin term by Allied pilots as mysterious flying objects that were seen over both European and Pacific skies. These mysterious aircraft didn't belong to either the Allies or the enemy. At no other point in time had there been more planes in the sky until the 1940s. This gave pilots a much better chance to discover UFOs than ever before. So what could they have possibly been? Aliens? Since pilots are in the sky so often, many of them have witnessed things, some extraterrestrial things, in the skies that they don't tell passengers about. 
In 2017, some videos came out from the State Department which seems to show pretty clear evidence of a flying saucer spotted by the Navy. The pilot spotted a whole fleet of these flying saucers near San Diego in 2004. Astronauts also have their own encounters with Foo Fighters. Number 8. Planes Fly With Missing Parts There's tens of thousands of different parts to airplanes, but instead of missing out on the profit and having to repair them back to full strength, some airlines decide that they're safe to fly anyway. Planes don't need all parts in order to fly. It might just make more of a smooth ride though if planes have all the parts to it. In fact, an engineer came forward and admitted that they are permitted to fly an aircraft even with a huge list of missing parts. Yikes, please just don't forget the wings. Number 7. The World's Longest Flight How long do you think you can make on a flight with no layover or connecting flights? Singapore Airlines has received many great awards for their airlines, but maybe they're pushing it just a tad with this new flight. A non-stop adventure will cover 10,300 miles during a time span of 18 hours and 45 minutes. This will connect New York City to Eastern Asia like never before. It's set to carry 161 passengers, which is never easy for the crew. You have to be able to sleep eventually, right? Imagine going on your ship for 18 hours, yikes. Number 6. Authorized Access If you're gonna get fired, this would be a pretty legendary way to go down, but you most likely won't lose your job as a pilot. A Playboy model walks into the cockpit with two different pilots and wants to take a selfie. The model, Vicky Zibolotakis, was invited into the cockpit and asked if she would like to try to fly the plane and they even gave her a little instruction on how to keep things under control. Are you really gonna say no? It seems totally normal to want to get a photo, and the only problem is that they were flying the plane. Being in a magazine doesn't typically give you the credentials to take hold of the wheel. If you really wanted to distract a couple of pilots in order to hijack the plane, a Playboy model would be the perfect cover. Number 5. Seatbelt Pointless Think of an airplane as a giant bus with wings. You wouldn't really need to wear a seatbelt on a bus, and you most likely don't really need one on a plane either. In the event of an airplane crash, a seatbelt probably isn't going to save your life. It will, however, keep you strapped in while the flight attendant hands out beverages and peanuts. Even though the plane is landing, you could probably end up just fine if you're hanging on to something instead. This has led companies like Ryanair to consider flights where people are actually standing the entire time for a cheaper price. Number 4. Pilots get a special meal Do you think the pilot is going to eat the same thing as the guy sitting all the way back in the coach section? Think again. The pod doesn't want to take any risk with getting sick from food poisoning or other factors associated with airline food. This will lead them to have a meal that's pre-made. You wouldn't want the pilots to get sick and not be able to land the plane, but the rest of us get sick, whatever. Number 3. Down Plane Problems Pilots don't like to admit that there's a huge problem going on and will calmly try to downplay the issue in order to make people feel at ease. There are a lot of things that can happen to the plane or could cause the flight to go less smoothly than desired. Sometimes while flying, pilots might encounter zero visibility. If they do mention anything at all, they might say something like, oh, it's just a little bit of fog, no big deal. If your flight is delayed for hours because the engine is falling off, they might just say, oh, it's only some technical issues. Number 2. Packing some heat? You're certainly not allowed to carry a firearm in your carry-on bag if you go on a plane, but that doesn't mean that the pilot is it. You might not ever see a person flying the plane and it could be a Terminator robot for all we know. Pilots that carry firearms are known as Federal Flight Deck Officers, and they're specially trained to carry weapons on commercial aircraft in case of total chaos breaking out. In order to have this privilege, pilots must endure some serious background checks, marksman tests, physical fitness tests, and so on. In 2008, on a US Airways Flight 1536, a gun went off somehow while the pilot was trying to store it. Although it didn't hurt anyone, it left a big hole in the side of the cockpit. And number 1. Flat Earth if anyone out there knows for sure the exact shape of planet Earth, it would be pilots out there who fly around all the time. They see the surface of Earth from above on a common basis. Many people believe that pilots are holding back on the public and know that all we've learned in school is a complete lie. How could they hold out on us like that? Some videos online out there show flat earthers asking pilots if the Earth is round or flat. Some will even respond that the Earth is flat. Whether they're doing that to avoid an argument or not is unclear. So be sure to ask your pilot next time and try to uncover the truth.